Here's how to clean the throttle body on your Lexus GS300 or IS300 with the 3 liter inline 6 2JZ engine. The throttle body is located under the engine cover here. We need to remove the entire intake to get access to it. I'm going to start by removing this intake with this 10 millimeter bolt. Then I'm going to remove the air intake. To access the air filter, I'm just going to push this door up and open. And then I can pop out the air filter like that. To get the air box out, there is a 10 millimeter bolt here, here, and here that needs to be removed. Next I'm going to loosen up this hose clamp here in the throttle body hose. Then I'm going to disconnect the master airflow sensor. Then I'm going to use a screwdriver to push on the tabs and remove this electrical connector. On the airbox. There's also one air hose here that needs to be removed. There's just a hose clamp. And you squeeze and then disconnect the hose. Now we should be able to remove the air box from the vehicle, pulling it out of the hose. Next I'm going to remove the engine cover. There are four 10 millimeter nuts that need to be removed. I'm going to reach in and remove the engine cover. Next I'm going to reach in here and remove this clamp. That holds the PCV hose to the intake. Then remove the PCV hose from the intake. Then I'm going to use the pliers to remove this vacuum hose from the intake in the front. And using my 10 millimeter socket, I'm going to loosen this hose clamp on the throttle body. And I think with that, we should be able to remove this hose from the throttle body. Just wiggling it off. Here we've got the throttle body. It's basically a butterfly valve that controls the airflow into the engine. As you can see, there's a little bit of carbon buildup around it. We're going to clean that up. Now because this vehicle is actually drive by wire, I can control the throttle with the cable on this side, but I need to have the ignition in the on position in order to open and close the butterfly valve for cleaning. I'm going to come in with my throttle body cleaner here and spray a little bit on the butterfly valve. Then I'm going to use an old toothbrush and scrub away at all the carbon deposits. Also make sure you get the top of the valve as well. Here I've got the throttle body roughly cleaned up. I'm just going to give it a final spray. Then I'm going to use a rag on the toothbrush and come in and clean everything up. Okay, we got everything all cleaned up in the throttle body and start putting it back together. This here is the mass airflow sensor. Sometimes they get dirty and they need to be cleaned as well. To clean the mass airflow sensor, we're going to remove these 10 millimeter bolts here and here. I'm going to use some electrical contact cleaner to clean out the mass airflow sensor and then let it dry for about 15 minutes. Next I'm going to replace the throttle body hose. Just push that onto the throttle body. Then I'm going to tighten down this 10 millimeter bolt. Next I'm going to replace the PCV hose and put the clamp back on. Then I'm going to replace this hose on the front here along with the hose clamp. Next I'm going to reinstall the air box. First put in the hose, slide that in set that down. Then I'm going to replace this hose on the bottom of the air box and the hose clamp. Next I'm going to put this clip back in here and the mass airflow sensor. Connect that. Then I'm going to tighten down this hose clamp here. Next I'm going to replace the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the air box on. Next I'm going to replace the air filter. Drop that in and clip this on. Next I'm going to replace the air intake. And a 10 millimeter bolt on the radiator. Then I'm going to replace the engine cover and these four 10 millimeter nuts. Next, I'm going to start the car. Due to the throttle cleaner, sometimes your engine light might be on when you start the car. To reset the check engine light, I'm just going to loosen the battery terminal here and remove this battery terminal for a couple of minutes. Five minutes later, I'm going to replace the battery terminal, tighten that up. Finally, you're going to want to take the car for a nice long drive so it relearns your driving style.